Hello, this is Mr. Burgess. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching from home, this is on the product of Powers Property. It's the second in our series of uh, the beginning of our exponents unit. And uh, yesterday or in our last video, we explored some of these types of questions. Um, write those answers out and um, how do we use the exponents? So if you're, again, if you're watching from home, click on this video and take a look. It'll give you some insights on, on how to understand this. Otherwise, you're watching another video that does the same thing. So we're going to talk about the laws of exponents, and this is just the first one of several that we will cover. So the, the law we're talking about today is called the product of powers exponents. What that means is if I have a couple of exponents, like if here's the base and here's the exponent, base and the exponent, if I'm multiplying any two exponents that have the same base, to do that, all I need to do is just add the exponents together. Now that kind of looks strange, but it's actually very, very simple to do and pretty cool. For example, if I have 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 5th, then what the property that we just looked at said that we need to do is just add the exponents. So this would be 2 to the 4 plus 5 power, which is 2 to the 9th. All right, how about this one? Negative 5 times negative 5 to the 6th. Well, you need to remember that this first one has an exponent of 1. Just like any variable by itself has an, uh, the number 1 in front of it, well, any number by itself has an exponent of 1 because then it just results in the same thing. But when I combine these two together, negative 5 to the 1st and negative 5 to the 6th, I end up with negative 5 to the 1 plus 6 power which is negative 5 to the 7th power. Like that. All right, how about this one? What if I just have a variable? Well, it's the same thing. This would end up being x to the 3 plus 7 power, which equals x to the 10th power. Now, you may be seeing things that you've seen in topics along the way and but oh I can't do that. Well now you're starting to see that these are pretty simple, pretty easy to do. So let's try a few more of those. So simplify the expression, write your answer as a power. So two to the four times two to the third would be two to the four plus three, which equals two to the seventh power. Uh, seven to the fifth power times seven to the seventh would be seven to the five plus seven power, which is 7 to the 12th power. 1 half to the 2nd times 1 half to the 5th would equal 1 half to the 2 plus 5 power, which would be 7th power. Uh, this one would be negative 3 fifths to the 3 plus 3 power, which is 6. Down here x to the 5th and x to the 11th, that's just going to be x to the 5 plus 11 power, which is x to the 16th power. Oops, I don't like that notation. So x to the 16th power. And then this last one, y to the 3rd and y to the 1st ends up being y to the 3 plus 1, which is y to the fourth power. So this is what we're talking about today with this product rule. Now what if you, uh, or product of powers rule. Now what if I have this? This is power of a power. So I've got these, I've got an exponent inside of parentheses and I'm raising that to an exponent. So that's kind of crazy looking, but that can happen. Like if we had 6 to the third raised to the second power. So essentially what we do here is we multiply. Now this says plus, but we actually multiply these two exponents together. 
Let's change that to a multiplication symbol. We multiply those two together. So this would be 6 to the 3 times 2 power, which would be 6. So 6 to the 6th power. So that's what you call the product of power rules. Everything inside the parentheses gets raised to the power. So let's practice a few of those. 3 to the 4th times 3 to the 3rd, or raised to the 3rd power, would equal 3 to the 4 times 3, which equals 3 to the 12th power. Okay. W to the 5 to the 4th power would be W to the 5 times 4 power. Or W to the 20th power. So remember at the beginning of the year we told you that most of this year we're going to be just adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers. Well, we're kind of seeing some of that today where we're just adding or multiplying these integers together to solve these problems. Okay, so you might see some problems like this. Rewrite the, the expression using a single exponent. So in that case, you would just do 3 times 4 is 12. So our single exponent in this case would be the 12th power. And this one will have a y to the 2 times 4 power, which is 8. And then this last one, we're going to have negative 4 in parentheses to the 3 times 2 power, which is 6. So I hope you see just how easy this is starting to look. Now, what if you have you have an exponent and you have things on the inside of some parentheses? Rewrite the expression using a single exponent. So to do that, you got to remember that everything in here, is, if it doesn't have an exponent, it has a one on it. So this would end up being two to the third power x to the third power. This next one would be 3 to the second power, x to the second power, y to the second power. So you just multiply this 2 that's on the outside by each of these 1s on the inside. Okay, now here's another rule. It's called the product rule with exponents part 1. So to do this one, you have to multiply all of this times all of this. And keep in mind, if there's no number in front of that x, there's a 1 there. So the way we break this down is we just do the numbers multiplied together. Negative 5 times negative 1. And then we do the exponents. x to the 4th times x to the 4th. So negative 5 times negative 1 would just be 5. And x to the 4th times x to the 4th would merely be x to the 8th power. So look at that. We multiplied a couple of integers, and then we added a couple of integers to solve this complex-looking problem. All right, let's do another one. 6 times 2 times n to the, n to the 3rd times n to the 5th. Well, 6 times 2 is 12. And m to the 3rd times n to the 5th is just n to the 3 plus 5. So that's going to be n to the 8th power. This next one, we're going to have, have to put a 1 in front of that w. And we will have negative 1 times negative 7, which is 7. And then 6 plus 6 is 12. So we end up with 12 to the or w to the 12th power. Okay, on our next problem, we got negative 3 times 6, so negative 3 times 6, which is negative 18. And y to the 4th times y to the 1st would be y to the 5th power. And that would be how you do that type of a problem. Okay. So when you see a problem on Alex, you might see something like 
simplify your answers as much as possible. So basically what they're saying is go ahead and multiply these together and add the exponents to whatever, whatever it's calling for. So negative 1 times negative 5. Well, that's just going to be 5, right? And then v to the 4th and v to the 4th, that would be v to the 4 plus 4, which is 8. So v to the 8th power. So what this looked like before was kind of confusing. So we multiplied them together. Now we just have 5v to the 8, which makes it much easier to work with. So our next one, get a different color here. Negative 6 times 3 would be negative 18. And w to the 5th and w to the 1st power combined together would give you w to the 6th power. So we end up with negative 18 w to the 6th power on that one. Okay, let's just see. Okay, we've got a couple more examples here. Okay, what about the product rule with exponents part 2? Well, that will be coming up tomorrow, so we'll save that for tomorrow. In the meantime, well, we'll, go ahead and, we'll go ahead and solve those. And then we can watch them tomorrow before we do our next video. So if we have a problem, all right, here's a problem. Again, a product row with exponents, but it's a little more complicated. We got uh, more than one variable. We got more than one number. So we've got to kind of simplify it a little bit before we do it. So let's start by underlining all of our numbers. Since we're multiplying all of these together, we can rearrange and put everything that's alike together. And then, so there's the numbers, okay, that I just picked out. Let's look at the next x or next variable. That would be y. And since y is by itself, I'm going to put a 1 there. And y to the 8th. And then we have w's. So we have w to the 5th and w to the 5th. So if we multiply it all together... 5 times 2 is 10. 4 times 10 is 40. And then y to the 1st times y to the 8th would be y to the 9th. And then for w's, w to the 5th times w to the 5th would just be w to the 10th. So you, as you can see, if we just take a little time, if we're patient with it, Put the numbers together, put the variables that are alike together, add their exponents, and you've got yourself a simplified expression. All right, so let's try another one. 3 times 2 times 4. 3 times 2 times 4. And then we've got x to the 8th times x to the 1st. So x to the 8th times x to the first. And then lastly, our y values. So y to the seventh, y to the second, and y to the first. So then when you combine them all together, three times two is six, four times six is 24. Then for our blue ones, x to the 8th times x to the 1st, that would be x to the ninth power. And then lastly, our purple ones, x to the 7 plus 2 plus 1, or y, excuse me, to the 7 plus 2 plus 1 would be y to the 10th power. So what we can tell what looked like a pretty messy looking expression at first is now a much easier one to do. And all we would have to give you is a number for x and a number for y to apply the exponents and then multiply that by 24 and you've got your number. All right, we just got a couple more problems and that will be, we'll wrap it up. 
So, and, and we could, you know, get more and more complicated if we want to, but we don't have to because it's the same rules apply. So, 7, 3, 2. 7 times 3 is 21. 21 times 2 would be 42. And then x to the 8th, and x to the 8th would be x to the 8 plus 8 power. And then we still have v's to work, deal with, so we get v to the first and v to the sixth. So v to the first plus six. So there, there's our expression set up. So let's finish. I'll finish it off. We've got 42 x to the sixteenth, and of course v to the seventh. Again, as you can see, all we're doing is adding these exponents or multiplying the coefficients, and it's just really slick, even though they look kind of complicated. So now that you've seen them um, on topics, or when you see them on topics, you'll know how to do them. So 2 times 4 times 4. 2 times 4 times 4. That is our constants. Then we got v to the ninth. Times v to the ninth and v to the fifth. And then we'll keep going. Um, a different color. We will have w to the first and w to the eighth. All right. So where do we go from there? Well, let's extend our page a little bit. We go 2 times 4 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 8 is 32. And then for our v's, 9 plus 5 is 14. So v to the 14th power. And 1 to the 8 is 9th power. So we're going to have w to the 9th power. All right, so there you go. That's... Uh, how you do that. So our assignment is exponents number 55, exponents product property. So take a look. Thank you very much.